Hello and welcome to Pump Tech's tutorial on the 356U, 360U pump rebuild. In this video, we'll be taking apart our 356 or 360U, taking out the pieces and replacing those pieces using kits A and B. In kit A, we have two seal rings, two support rings, two 024 O rings, grease, two 117 O rings, two 124 O rings, one plunger, two plunger guides, and two U cups. In kit B, we have grease, 116 O-rings, four of those, four M-valves, and eight white washers. For our rebuild, we'll be using these tools. I would recommend having a towel nearby, a 3 16 hex wrench, a small screwdriver, the grease from kit A and B, and some water. A quick note, the only difference between the 356 and the 360U is the inside of the heads. There is a chamfer uh, in one of the heads and the other head is goes down into a flat. But this does not affect the rebuild, and the parts inside are the same. So let's take apart our pump. We'll first start by putting our pump onto the manifold so we can get at the two bolts. We'll use our 3 16 hex wrench and take off those bolts and put those bolts and stainless steel washers to the side. We will flip our pump back onto the heads and flip over our manifold. There should be four white washers either on the manifold or it looks like here they stuck to the valves. And so we'll put those four washers to the side and we'll take out our valves and O-rings. There should be four valves for 116 O-rings on those valve pockets on the heads. Underneath those valves there should be four more white washers and we will take those out and put those to the side as well. Kit B will be used to replace this portion of the assembly. Now we will take our two heads and slide them off of the plunger. It should be relatively smooth, but maybe you might want that towel nearby to get any water or grease that gets in your way. Now we can take off the retaining plate. That is that metallic plate there. We'll slide that to the side, and it might be a little tricky, um, but you can try to use your finger at first. It'll get a little dirty, um, but just to get that plunger guide and all those pieces inside the pump head out. If that doesn't work, use the plunger, kind of wiggle it around in a circle or just slightly back and forth, and that should pop off the plunger guide. You should be able to get off all the parts inside, and that all those parts, once they are out, should be parts from kit A. And just a reminder, you should pull out the three different types of O-rings, a plunger guide, a seal ring, a support ring, and a U-cup. Now that we have our pump apart, we are going to move most of the pieces to the side and grab kit A. In kit A, there should be one of the thin O-rings, which is the O24 O-ring. We're going to grab the grease and lube that one up and just a little bit of grease on there and rub it around with your finger and we'll stick that o-ring flush inside that seal bore opening of the head. Next we will grab the u-cup and the orientation is important. We want the the u edge so that it looks like there's a u inside around going around that will be facing into the pump and so it might be a little difficult it could be a little rigid so you might need to use a little bit of force to to get that down in there so everything else will fit on top of it. And if you put it in there correctly, there should be a little lip on the inside sur surface of the U-cup, and that's where we'll put our support ring. And to match that lip, we will have the rounded edge going into the pump with the flat edge of that support ring facing towards us. So that should fit on there quite nicely. And we will then grab the large O-ring, which is the 124 O-ring, and we will also grease this one and rub it around with our finger and place it just on the top of that seal bore opening on the head. Okay, now we want to assemble our plunger guides. There's a plunger guide, and then there's that another O24 O-ring. And so we'll put a little bit more grease on that O-ring, and rub it around, and we'll pull it around the plunger guide so it fits in the groove that is on the shorter end of the plunger guide. And using in that smaller end, where it has the smaller uh, thickness, we'll go into the pump. We'll push that around the bigger o-ring that's sitting on our pump head and it should sit nearly flush with the pump head if there's any problems like you see in my video you want to take it up take it off readjust and make sure that it's sitting nicely in there with the o-ring still in place once that's together we will grab our retainer plate and there should be two more parts that we need to put onto our retainer plate and that is the seal ring and another o-ring and that o-ring should be the 117 o-ring. This 117 o-ring and seal ring doesn't need any grease, but it may help if you want to stay in place. But I don't use any grease, and I just put that o-ring, that 117 o-ring, 
on the opening on the inside lip of the retainer plate as seen here. And I make sure that that seal ring is centered and pushed into the O-ring. Now you want to be careful, make sure to apply even pressure to get that seal ring in there, otherwise you could risk damaging that seal ring. But you do want to make sure that your seal ring and your O-ring stay in place as you put it over the opening of the head. Now we want to grab our plunger, and you can grease each end so it slides in and out a little easier onto the heads. And we will want to put our heads so that the, the valve pockets are facing us. That means that when we put our plunger in, the slot will be facing away from us. And we want that slot centered and our heads just about touching on the ends there. Um, there, could be a, there should be a little gap. That's so when you put the manifold on, it'll fit snugly. If your pump has an H channel, feel free to put that on right now. That'll also help with the spacing between your heads when you put the manifold on. And now we will grab our manifold and the contents of kit B. One thing worth note is that there's a sticker. There should be a sticker placed by Pump Tech if it's still undamaged on top of one of the sides of the heads. This is how we know where our outlet is. So if you have that sticker on the top of the pump, the towards the top of the screen, then we know where our outlets are when we put our valves in. Uh, first, we will grab some white washers, four of the eight. We'll put them in the valve pockets, and then we will put our valves one, two, three, four into those pockets. And as mentioned, we want our outlets to be on the top, so we'll have the X's facing towards us on the, the top of the pump on each head. And below those, we'll have two O's. And after those valves are in, we'll put our 116 O-rings around those valves and push them snugly around the valves into the valve pockets using the water. And our manifold and the four the four remaining white clear washers we will put those on the manifold spray the valve pockets and put move the washers into the the valve pockets that way when you flip the manifold over onto the head they do not fall off they will stay in there with that water then we can flip the whole assembly onto the manifolds so we can get our two bolts into the manifold head combo make sure that the washers are still on the bolts and we'll screw those tighten those around and then go slightly tight with our 3 16 hex wrench on, on each of those bolts. They don't need to be super tight. We can retighten these once we get that pump back onto the motor. This has been the tutorial for the 356-360U pump rebuild. Thank you for joining us. If you have any other questions, please refer to our other videos, our website, or give us a call here at Pump Tech. Thanks and have a great day.